Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the mid-monthly love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. I'm going to start off with an Archangel Power Tarot card for Cancer, please. Mid-December through mid-January, we have new beginnings. All right, that came out quick. So, very nice. New beginnings, starting a new life, finding your purpose, forgiving, compassionate review of the past. All right, that's judgment energy. Judgment is Pluto. So, all right, new beginnings, new choices, coming to an enlightenment um, or a pivotal turning point in your life. All right, so let's see what the energy is. Cancer, love, romance, and relationships. Wow. Cool. All right, yeah, so there is a new start here um, with the full energy. For some, taking a leap, taking a risk, starting new. All right, um, let's pull some cards for the situation surrounding the fool. Okay, nice, we have the sun. All right, and two more, please, for cancer. Loving this energy. <laughs> Eight of wands, all right, coming in hard and fast. And one more. Definitely could be a change in direction, a sudden shift. Sudden opportunity. One more for Cancer, please. After the Eight of Wands. Really nice cards. Okay. One more, please, for Cancer. I feel like this energy is really saying, go for it. All right. So we have the Six of Swords. Yeah. So, all right. Really moving on to the next chapter with the Six of Swords. Um, especially when we see the judgment card here, and this is about a forgiving and compassionate review of the past, really seeing the lessons that you have learned surrounding self-worth, love, and romance, and seeing what these relationships, the ones that haven't worked out, what they taught you, seeing them as being a teacher rather than a mistake, seeing it as growth. So really it is how, you know, things are being viewed here, but with the fool, this is saying, yes, starting fresh, starting over infinite possibilities. There's exciting energy to this. Sun energy, we have Leo. Okay, so with the sun, rebirth. This is a lot about rebirth and judgment also speaks of rebirth. So yeah, fresh opportunities. The sun is shining light on the darkness, transmuting that. Um, this is when it feels like, okay, it's almost like spring into summer energy when there's new life, the butterflies, the transformation, we have the sunflower, this, this, all this rebirth and fire energy. So really nice. You know, we have this eclipse and portal season happening. So there is a lot going on. There are doors closing, especially November 30th, the first eclipse and then mid-December the 2nd, then we have the great conjunction between Saturn and Jupiter in Aquarius, the new moon eclipse, new energy, the eight of wands, there is a major shift happening, and that six of swords, again, releasing the past, the baggage, the things that no longer serve, lightening the load. All right, so let's clarify the sun energy. Clarify the sun, please. Wow, Cancer. <laughs> Come on, look at this. Beautiful. All right. So, you know, Leo could be prominent here, but if not, Leo really is about the energy. The sun, the child represents vulnerability. Um, the red flag, it's like, all right, overcoming the past and the difficulties. There's new energy pouring in here. So one door closing, a new door opening. The eight of wands, this could be a sudden shift, but I want to take a look at that. A change in direction, a sudden shift, a flurry of energy happening. Wow. And yeah, look at this. Eight of Wands again, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we have the Three of Wands, so something is dissolving and changing. With the Three of Wands, you see the ships on the horizon. This is about going for it. The ships are waiting there. You can go for it, or you can wait for them to come in, but I feel like this energy is saying, go for it. Take the leap of faith. Start something fresh. Even if this is an internal thing for you, so be it, but whatever it may be, internal, external, a new person, a new chapter awaits. So really nice. All right, let's pull one from the Romance Angels to get some further advice. 
And then one from Whispers of Love. Yeah, you deserve love, Cancer. You are lovable. So this is definitely a lot about self-worth. Um, I know with the holidays coming up, sometimes things can feel rough, but I'm feeling this sense of happiness and seeing things from like a sunny, you know, disposition, right? So staying positive. I'm someone who has um, the sun in my first house. And so with that, I feel like, you know, I always have the sunny disposition, the way that I view things, which helps. But that's just an example. Calling in your soulmate, prayers, affirmations, visualizations to help bring you together. All right, and let's pull one from the Whispers of Love. See what guidance the Whispers of Love has for Cancer, please. All right, Cancer, and we have appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. And number 33. Okay, so threes are prominent, three of wands. But this is what I said in the beginning. Seeing what you've gone through as growth in a lesson and seeing even in the situations that were difficult, but what they taught you. Sometimes the people that come in as soulmates or people we feel a deep connection to, even when it doesn't work out, regardless of that, it's this person was a great teacher and we also taught them. So yeah, seeing things from that perspective because all that growth is just preparing you for this next big Beautiful, awesome chapter, right? And then look at the bottom. We have have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. 12, one and two is three again. So threes are about the rebirth. Think about the empress, the rebirth, the birth of something new, okay? Um, so with all this, this fool energy, some of this could have been about self-worth. And just appreciating what the past has taught you as you transition and move into the next chapter. And the sun shining, happiness, all right? But it, it, a lot of it is also going to depend on how you see things. So that's going to be important. But there is this new chapter waiting for you. This change, this shift with all these eclipses. So awesome energy. I hope that you guys have an amazing month ahead and happy holidays. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.